Hey, I'm Keith Shannon with directcarpet.com, and today we're gonna to show you how to put in your under pad for your stair runner. The stair runner that we're putting in today is a 26 inch wide stair runner. That means our under pad will be 24 inches, one inch less on each side so that we have a little bit of curve that goes down and we can pop staples in. So we'll show you how to do that right now. What we wanna do, we wanna center our under pad uh, on these stairs. We wanna find the rail. Okay, and we want to find the center between the rail and stringer. Okay, so I've already got my under pad down to 24 inches. Why don't we start here? We're going to be leaving an inch gap here to a quarter inch gap. We're going to lay our pad down so it's flush right against the front here. We're using to attach the under pad, we're using a hammer stapler, which uh, I'll leave a link in the description, which you can get at any. Uh, you know, big box store, really. Now we're gonna need a tape measure because we're gonna find the center. We know that this piece is 24. Now you could go and find the center and then mark it with a pencil. What I like to do is I like to put my under pad on first and then I'm just gonna check the center from, from here to here and from here to here and that's where it's gonna go. So right there I'm three and a half inches and from the spindle, I am almost three and a half inches. So I'm just gonna move that over a little bit recheck that three and a half there three and a half there i'm good that's exactly where i want it and along the front is where we want most of the staples if you don't put a lot of staples in there what happens when you roll your uh, your carpet up over top it'll roll the under pad so we really want a staple like all the way along like that so that won't curl and then we just put one two three in the back and then what we're gonna do is, you now you can measure this. I use my hand as a guide. I put my hand against there. I look about, eh, let's say three quarters of an inch, sharp blade, and then I just follow my hand along the wood all the way down. And then I cut that under pad exactly nice and straight, pull the excess off, and I've got a nice gap in the back to staple in. And my pad is firm on the front, it's not gonna roll, and I am centered from here to here. And that's how I put my under pad in for a stair runner. 